I ended up having some Turkish coffee and um, some bread, <clears throat> some eggs, delicious. And I watched a little bit of Christine, that Stephen King uh, story with the car. Okay, so I ended up adding a little bit of Viridian Green. And now that it's dry, I realize I probably should have gone, gone ahead and applied the paint more with an ink an inky consist consistency instead of a watery consistency so I'm gonna try to do this more inky <clears throat> or a thicker can't even say thicker um, more of a con condense color So I am doing Bright Opera Pink. And then I'll do some shading and stuff with this. I mean with the purple colors. I'm sure these, these uh, fish are not hot pink. But, just trying something different. Playing with the colors a little bit. So I am making this a lot more condensed. Uh color so when it dries it will dry a little bit lighter This, I think, is one of my favorite colors of this palette. I'm working left to right on this one or this time because I want to be able to rest my hand if I want to on the paper. So that's what I'm doing.
change brushes now. Changing brushes because I want to get into this smaller spots here down by the lip. to go back in with the darker colors so I'm probably gonna mix in some viridian or purple or the uh, violet color probably do the violet color exactly what I want. I think this paper doesn't allow for a good flow of the colors. But that's okay. I'll work with it. I think on the inside of the mouth I'll use a combination of indigo, uh, the clear violet purple color. I'll probably mix a few different colors just so that I get a kind of a black that's a colorful black. So the fins or whatever, yeah, the fins on the side were like, they look like little hands. So. It's kind of interesting to see. Or these, it like had two sets of fins from what I saw. Just trying to shade the 
towards the bottom of the fish with the purple color using a wash of the violet watering it down at the edges so that it's not as harsh on these little <coughs> corners there I think I'll add some underneath the fin this side fin here Probably add a little bit of ultramarine blue to the mix as well, just to get some color variety. Could have probably done that with more purple though. This little antenna up front had like rings of skin stacked up on top of each other. Kind of weird looking. Yeah, I think adding the blue will give a cool, um, a nice color variation. So I think I'm going to add some blues in the darker areas. Ultramarine. I'm going to go back into the pink to fill in these spots that are kind of getting washed out. Let's see if I can't fix that a little bit. Hmm. The sun's coming out. So I'm going to fill in this, uh, the mouth and then do the eye. And the mouth, I'm going to do the bright clear violet. I'm going to do indigo and ultramarine deep. And we'll 
we'll see how that works. Looks pretty. Nice and nice ink color. So this is wet down here. I might be careful because I don't want it to blend into that. So these guys really have some ugly misshapen teeth. They look almost like um, fish bones. So I'm just being very careful to not touch the wet, the wet parts of the rim of, rim of the mouth. Now the lower I hold the paintbrush to the um, the hairs, the tighter my painting is going to be, or the more control. But if I want it looser, I would hold it back here. But because these are such intricate little teeth, I'm going to try to have some control. I'm going to do the eye in that same color. <laughs> He's really surprised. <laughs> I think once this dries also, I'll go ahead and do some extra little line work and stuff. And I'll probably add some white highlight here, showing the teeth, because there were some teeth that were also kind of um, going outwards from the mouth. I think I'm going to try the cobalt blue around the eye here. See what that will do. 
absolutely nothing. So yeah, I'll go in and fix this up a little bit. Add some more details with the line work. I think this is where I'll stop for right now since we're already at 21 minutes. Thanks for hanging with me and I will talk to you later. Bye.